Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to start drawing this isometric exercise that is shown in front of you and I am going to simplify every single detail in this exercise so let's start so we start as always by specifying the limits so we write limits and now we enter the value of 0 and 0 for lower left corner and 100 by 100 for the top right corner then Z and A for all now we have to turn on the isometric mode by writing snap STYL then A then 1 now we turn off the grid and we start drawing the base but I so we change the isoplane by pressing on the F5 then select the line tool by inserting L then we start from here and we turn on the ortho mode and write L start from here and write 33 now we go up by pressing F5 and we have a distance of 28 and we go 8 10 and 4 now we go down 10 4 to this direction and 12 to this direction and then we can go like this Now we select the trim to trim this and you can delete this one. Okay. And now from this side we have a circle here. So we select this one, axis end and iso circle and from the midpoint here as you see we cannot see the midpoint so we go to midpoint now start drawing the isocircle from here up to here now trim and its diameter is 12 so we write 6 for the radius now we delete this one now we select the line tool and press F5 to change the isoplane and from here we go a distance of 28 select isocircle and start drawing from the midpoint but after changing the isoplane again we have the same small circle of the radius 6 now trim the bigger one and we copy this line from this point up to this point Sorry, this distance is not 4, it is not 10, it's shown as 5. Don't worry, don't worry, we can modify everything. Just select everything and move 
from this point up to this point okay now we copy this line from here copy this line from here up to here and again this line from here up to here and up to here and finally from this point to this point repeat the same command here and here you go now we can trim TR trim and we can this half circle from this point up to this point and we have to draw another line from the quadrant but we don't have it we turn it on from here the quadrant and now we can draw a line from the quadrant here up to this one now trim select the base one and again this one and trim so we draw a line that has a length of 32 and now we change the isoplane and draw another line draw another line cover this line from this point up to this end point as well as to this point now we can copy this line from here up to here okay now select the iso circle and draw a circle that has a radius of 6 okay and we can draw another line that has a length of 20 and we can copy the circle from this center line, center point to the center okay now we can also now we can copy this line from the center point up to this intersection point as well as to this one now we can delete it and trim these are the reference again now we have another circle that has a diameter of 28 start so drawing it from here and we can trim this side and you can delete this one and copy this circle from this end point not just this one we can copy these two circles as well as this one and this one from this end point to this end point now you can trim sorry you can delete this one and trim okay and we cover this line from this end point to the quadrant here and we can trim this line the final step is copying this line from this point up to the quadrant here and we can trim and here we go we have the final shape and it's done now we can add the dimensions we just go to annotate and from here we have the line and now we start by the first line which is 32 and as you see it cannot be seen 
uh, write different dimensions and modify and now we can write here 10 and we can use this one and that's it and close it we go on to the other directions to add the dimensions so again aligned draw center line that has a length of 28 and move it from the midpoint to the center of the circle another one but after changing the isoplane 12 and we move it from this point up to the center and now we can add the dimensions and also we copy this line from this point up to the center here we need another one here now we copy this line from this midpoint to the center of the circle now we draw this line and we can trim it and here we go now we select this line and delete it and here we go we can continue adding the dimensions so aligned again and we have this line to 12 28 put this one and 8 for this line 10 And here we go. Now we select oblique select this one as well this one and this one. And just try it and this one enter and write 90 because they're vertical now we select this one and this one as well as these ones and this one that's it Thirty. And finally, we can select this one. Uh, not this one. Yes, this one only. Enter. 
league and 150. Okay, we can edit this one. Or oh, this one. Okay, now it's it's done. Okay. Now we go to home again and layer properties. We add new layer and white dimensions for this layer. We have the color we select it to be green for example. Another one. its color can be chosen as red for example or, or yellow Now select all the dimensions and just go to dimensions layer. Now select all the center lines. and go to center change its its color has to be changed we select red for example its scale is not clear so it's clear now so this is the end of this video thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it Please don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Bye.